brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm back. I took a couple day break. Or I guess I should say a couple day test. And I'm not sure if I'm through the test all the way yet. Definitely haven't learned everything about it yet. But this is part six. <laughs> I have to finish. That's what's been part of my attacks. Is that I didn't finish the series that I started. And we can't have unfinished work for the Lord. So I say, Lord Jesus, I give you all the glory, honor, and praise. All glory to you, Lord Jesus. I humble myself before you and before others and say, I can't do this without your help. I can't do anything without you, Lord Jesus. That's how you get all the glory from me, Lord Jesus, because it's not my power. So Lord Jesus, manifest your power through me right now in Jesus' name. Use me as a vessel to speak through. Have any anxieties from anybody on this channel, but including myself, have the anxieties flee, Lord. It says that if we cast all our anxieties on you, it says to cast all of our anxieties on you because you care for us, Lord. So Lord, take our anxieties, take our fears, take our worries and send them back to Satan from where they came. I break the strongholds of any of those spirits that are coming against us. Spirit of confusion, flee from us in Jesus' name. The Lord Jesus gives us the victory every time. So I cast you out and away from us, back to outer darkness, and I bind you in chains. Flee from us and flee from our households. And flee from this channel in Jesus' name. You can't stop what the Lord God is doing in me and through me, Satan. Your time is up. Jesus is coming quickly. And there's nothing you can do about it. You know the scriptures, Satan. You know your time is short. So flee from us right now by the name of Jesus Christ. We take our authority over you because we've been given authority to trample serpents and scorpions. No weapon formed against us will prosper. And the gates of hell will not prevail against us. So any principalities or powers, flee from us in Jesus' holy name. I plead the blood of Christ over everybody's eyes, ears, minds, and physical bodies, and all of your families and your household in Jesus' name. I speak a supernatural barrier, protector of Jesus' blood. And Lord Jesus, send your holy angels to protect their houses and their families, wherever they go. Bless them for praying for me and caring enough to even think about me, Lord. Thank you for these dear brothers and sisters in Christ, my true spiritual family because we're all family in this all of us we're all in this together and i appreciate you guys being there for me i can't even put it into words all of this stuff is super stressful for me but his grace is sufficient, so why do we why would we want to ask for it to go away? 
We have it better than others around this world. So let's value this day. Let's value what he's given us. Let's value the gifts he gives us. Because if we do, don't do right with the gifts that he's given us, then even what we have will be taken away. So Lord Jesus, I pray against that. I pray for everybody to know what your perfect will in them is so we could get out of this evil, evil world. It looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. It was a snare. All of it. Lord Jesus, let us be able to see through the veil so we could see your face and, and see through the enemy's lies. Because we don't want the lies anymore, Lord. We just want truth. We don't want the confusion anymore. Oh man. That one was getting a little too crazy, guys. I felt it immediately. Okay. So Lord Jesus, just use me as a vessel to speak through. I give you all the honor, all the glory, and all the praise. I extol and magnify your holy name, Lord Jesus. Anoint your messenger for this video and the next ones that are coming out that are <laughs> finally having me go to something different. <laughs> Lord Jesus, let this go smoothly because I know you have control over all things. All things are in your hands. Work through these people's hearts for their continued support mentally and spiritually. Their prayers. Because I'm running on prayers, Lord, and you know that. I pray clarity over everybody's mind. I pray wisdom for us all. It says, Lord, if any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God because he gives all men liberally. So Lord, we ask for your wisdom. We ask for your discernment and your knowledge to get through the things that you want to show us because I know you show us things together. So Lord Jesus, show us what you want us to see. Let me get the message across what you want me to say. And let's put that enemy under your foot, <laughs> under your footstool under your feet, Lord. Thank you for the authority that you've given us over the enemy. The Lord laughs at the wicked because he knows his time is short. Amen. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh and Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Okay guys. I pray everybody's doing all right. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm kind of uh, mad at the enemy. I've been getting attacked with, I've been bombarded with confusion. I don't know if something's been released in the world or what is going on, or if I'm getting pushback from things I've been doing. But it's strengthening me. giving me endurance. Thank you, Jesus. Kind of hard to breathe at times, but <laughs> I don't know if you guys get that, where it's like you just can't take a deep enough breath. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> Strange. <laughs> Alright, so this is what happened, guys. <laughs> is, uh... We, f <laughs> we left off when we were reading Colossians. And I had, like, three more numbers to show you. And we'll see where the Lord takes us with this, but I don't think it's going to be a very long video because I got to get on to the other things that I need to show you guys. But basically it's Satan telling me I, I shouldn't make a video when the Lord wants me to. And when the Lord wants me to just relax and be still and be silent and rest in him, I got Satan telling me, you know, you got to be making a video and what are you thinking? You're failing. You're failing and you're not going to make it. Teachers are judged worse. So if you don't do this video, then you're going to be judged way worse. You know what I mean? All these lies, but it's like all of the signs and the things from the Lord are telling me the opposite. So it's a big paradox that's going on right now and I don't know if it's cause like the darkness. So I don't know if it's the darkness that's growing. It's gotta be, it's gotta be the spirit of confusion that's out in full effect. We are reading in Colossians. And I was basically done. Let me just refresh you guys where we were. We got to put off all the things. Anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy. And you know, some will say that, you know, my anger is causing me to sin. But no, it says, be ye angry and sin not. I'm not in sin. So there's no condemnation. For someone that's not in sin. And even if you are in sin, if you're in Christ Jesus, there's no condemnation for you. You're in error. And we're supposed to revive you to repentance, but when people don't listen, it, it's kind of impossible. After a while, the Lord will say, dust your feet and don't look back because you tried. And if they didn't listen then, they're not gonna listen this time. They saw signs and miracles and they didn't get it. They're not going to listen to you. I have to take over. So once you're warned through man, then the Lord comes in and he takes over because he has to get through to you. And I pray for the people to swallow their their pride and humble themselves before the Lord. Because if you're worn through man and you don't humble yourself, he will humble you and it's way more uncomfortable. So anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. You know, we can't be cussing all the time. And even I've heard Christians be taking the Lord's name in vain and thinking that's okay. It's not. We got to stop our mouth. Our tongue is an unruly evil. With it, we bless God. And with it, we curse others. And cursing and cussing is not the same thing. Cursing someone is different. Cussing 
this filthy communication out of your mouth and it needs to go because that's not allowed. And nothing filthy is allowed into the kingdom. So I asked Lord Jesus, please, I'm humbling myself before you, Lord, because I need to fix my mouth sometimes when I slip. And Lord, you've done a work in me. But guard my tongue to where nothing slips out that's not from you, Lord Jesus, because I only want your words. Say that and mean it. And your, your speech will clean up, I promise you. Lie not one to another seeing that you have put off the old man. And where do lies come from? The father of lies, Satan. Just like every truth, every truth in this world stems from Jesus. Just like every lie in this world stems from Satan. The source is Satan and the source of truth is Jesus. They had no love for the truth, so God had them believe the lie. They had no love for Jesus, so God makes them believe the lie. They had no love for the truths of Jesus, of the Bible, so God makes them believe the lie. So lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds, and have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him, where there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcision nor uncircumcision, barbarian nor Scythian, bond nor free, but Christ is all and in all. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for being in us and working through us for your purposes, in Jesus' name. All right, so let me show you guys a couple, couple words and we'll see where this goes. Hang on. All right guys, so just so you remember, this is 915 on uh, a license plate, like literally right outside my hotel window and it pulled up all weird so that's how i got the number and this is what it meant and then i gotta show you guys because it was dark but this is the truck like that's literally outside my window and i go outside um in the last videos and it had 726 which is rapture harpazo on it and i didn't get a good picture of it so i went and took one this is the truck 7.26. I was like, no way. <laughs> All right, so if you guys remember, this was, uh, it was barbarian, like someone of hard speech, right? But then you, um, this is how we got to Colossians 3. It was 3.11. It's funny how there's been a, a super strong thing with 311. I've only watched one person's videos in the past uh, a while. And it's the Lord always telling me, clear as day, watch Jonathan Cleck. And so after I do all these videos on 311, right? Because of the transfer, remember? Remember the transfer? <laughs> and and then it just so happened to pick that as the uh, the random because it picks my um, it does now because I don't have control over it. It picks my um, thumbnails at random. So it just so happened to pick this as the last thumbnail. <laughs> and uh, all glory to Jesus Christ. But I watched Jonathan's video last night and thank you jesus for giving me the same message that he came out with thank you jesus all glory and honor and praise to the most high god we can't make these things up we can't fabric fabricate these things and and you know coordinate them so all glory to jesus christ thank you jesus so 
So that's Eden, Texas. I'll go one, two, three, four. Look what's on my screen. You got to be joking me. July 10th, 311. That, I had no idea until just a minute ago when I was doing this video. I was looking for one of these vids. And look what's on my screen, 311. This is just the Lord confirming 311, like from Corey, and from looking up Kat's address on 311, Eden restored that. So basically at the same time, <laughs> um, we both are being shown the same thing, which I'm sure a lot of you guys are being shown the same thing too. And 311 came in in a different way this time though. I've seen 311 a lot and that's what it means to me. So when I see it, I'm like, oh yeah, 311. But this time it was different and it was strange and it happened to get even more strange last night once I watched Jonathan. Anyways, if you have anything bad to say about Jonathan, go to a different channel because I love him. And <laughs> anyways, you guys get the point. I don't want to hear anything negative because I'll just block you because you're only condemning yourself. By our words were justified and by our words were condemned. All right, so 9.15. Sorry, guys, I had to do that. Um, and maybe that's why this last part took this long for the, you know, for me to get it out and for the Lord to have me get it out is to put that those pieces together. But behold, he is coming quickly. I'm telling you guys. And I know I've been saying it since the beginning of this channel. <laughs> but it's felt imminent since the beginning of this channel. But now I can tell the difference between coming quickly like back then and like now. It's totally different, guys. We got to get it right. So 19, uh, 915 always also means a piece or a severed piece. Leads us to be divided and, and separate because he didn't come to bring peace but a sword. He came to divide the light from the dark, the sheep from the goats. So we're commanded to be separate from the world, be a peculiar people for him. So set yourself apart, you know, make a distinction between you and the world. And if you can't tell a difference between what the world looks like and what you're looking like, that's a problem. And I ask the Lord to purge the world out of me every day. I say, Lord, forgive me for the lust of the eyes, the lust of the heart and the pride of life. Even if I feel like I didn't, Control, you know, even if I feel like I controlled my eyes very well and controlled everything very well, and I feel like I didn't sin, I still say it. We're to be set apart for the Lord and separated from the world so we can serve Him in the way that He wants us to. So separate yourself from people of the land or the heathen and their practices. We have to separate ourselves. He will put the goats on his left and the sheep on his right. And he'll say to the right, <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna butcher it. Matthew 25 31 when the Son of Man shall come in his glory and all the holy angels with him then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory and before him shall be gathered all nations and he shall separate them one from another as a shepherd divideth his sheep from the goats and he shall set the sheep on his right hand and the goats on his left then shall the king say unto them on his right hand come Ye blessed of my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was a hungered, and ye gave me meat. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you took me in. Naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, and ye visited me. I was in prison, and ye came unto me. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee a hungered, and fed thee? 
or thirsty and gave thee drink? When saw we thee a, a stranger and took thee in, or naked and clothed thee? Or when saw we sick or in prison and came unto thee? And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as ye have done it to one of the least of these, my brethren, ye have done it unto me. Then shall he say unto them that are on the left hand, Depart from me, you cursed, into everlasting fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was a hungered, and ye gave me no meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me, ye took me not in. Naked, and ye clothed me not. Sick and in prison, and ye visited me not. We have to do what the Lord wants from us. Because if we're in willing disobedience, we'll hear this. Depart from me. That's the scariest thing ever, and that's the scariest thing that's on my heart, guys. I go out and talk to people. And they're going to church. And nobody is talking about the end in their church. But they're like, no, it's, you know, the pastor's saved. Well, I, I don't know him, and so I couldn't say he is, but a lot of people in the churches, most, are going to hear, depart from me, workers of iniquity, because he's never known you. If you're sinning and you're in sin, and you don't want to get out of it because it's uncomfortable for you, uncomfortable for your flesh, then that's what you'll hear. And who knows if you'll even get a chance, like live through the, the calamities that are coming on this nation. So if you don't know Jesus Christ, you need to call out to him right now, or if you're not in good standing with him, you need to ask him to take the things out of your heart that he doesn't want there and you need to mean it with your whole heart that you don't want him there anymore because there's no time believe that he died for your sins believe that he shed his blood on that cross for you and conquered death admit you're a sinner admit you need him admit you can't Help all the things that you've done in your past and tell him you need him. And you only want the truth because you're tired of the lies of this world. Unless you like the lies, then you could keep believing them. And unless you like fire, then you, you that's what's coming as well. And locusts that sting you and you'll seek death, but you won't be able to find it. So wouldn't you rather just say, okay, I give up? I've sinned against the Lord. I've done a lot of bad things. I'm not in good standing with you, Lord. And I don't want anything coming in between me and you. Not because only I want to be saved from the things that are coming, but because I love you and I don't want to sin against you, Lord. If you were the only person on this earth, I've said this before, and Jesus came and you're the only one on this earth, he would have taken your place on that cross. For you, it doesn't matter the things that you've done. If we call out to him, he will cleanse us of all unrighteousness. His blood will cleanse us. So believe in your heart that he died for you and rose the third day and conquered death and that he's the son of God and that he is God in the flesh. And then when you believe that, confess with your mouth, Jesus, your Lord, Jesus is Lord. Believe in your heart and confess with your mouth and you'll be saved.
but you need to mean it. He knows you better than you know yourself. So when this separation happens, and everything, it's all over and it's too late, you're gonna be begging for this time that you heard this message back. You're gonna be begging for this time back, but it's gonna be too late. So I'm trying to pull people from the fire before the fire. Lord Jesus, please give people ears to hear what I just said in Jesus' holy name. I just have to say, this is funny. This is another number, 126. It was on a camper right outside. I know. I'm looking up different things that are right outside my hotel room, but I'm not walking for these things. The Lord is bringing these things to me, and it'll prove it in the next video. Uh, 126? It says adios. Oh, I thought it said adios, but anyways, I just had to share that. 126, a city near Sodom and Gomorrah. I would say we're pretty near. I mean, not in location, <laughs> but in morals to Sodom and Gomorrah. It's about to happen because of the abominations of the Sodomites. And all the people that are blaspheming the Lord's name and killing his children, sacrificing his children to Baal. Fire and brimstone. So adios here is... <laughs> Hey guys, it could be everlasting chains of darkness, eternal hellfire, or everlasting life. It's a paradox. That's what all these things are. Polar opposites of each other, a double-edged sword. So let's make sure we stay on that straight path so we get everlasting life. and not eternal damnation. So ever enduring forward and backward. For the wrath of God, this is Romans 1, for the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Makes me think about the scientists. They know the truth of what it is. They know that Darwinism is totally fake. Because that which may be known of God is manifest in them. For God hath showed it unto them. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead so that they are without excuse because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations. And their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools and changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into the image made like, un like to corruptible man and to birds and to four-footed beasts and to creeping things. Worshipping the creature rather than the creator. So, God gave them up to uncleanness through the lusts of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves, who changed the truth of God into a lie and worshipped and served the creature more than the creator. The creator who is blessed forever. Amen. For this cause, God gave them up unto vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into which is against nature. Girls are turning into guys. Guys are turning into girls. Why? Because confusion and because Baphomet is both. The Lord your God is one. Satan is too. 
Duality. Tired of the duality. Dark light, off on. Hot, cold. Lukewarm, uh oh. <laughs> okay, keep going. All right, so, and likewise, also the le men leaving the natural use of the woman burned in their lust towards one another. Men with men working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense for their error, which was meat, because they know what they're doing is wrong and they hate God. They know what they're doing is wrong. They're lying to themselves. But God gave them over to a reprobate mind because they didn't have love for the truth. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave, gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. Being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness. Guys, if any of these are dwelling within you, they need to go immediately because there's no time. Full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, implacable, unmerciful, <laughs> unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but they have pleasure in them that do them. They're trying to teach our kids that you could change your sexuality before you're even, you can even think what that is. In Canada, they're taking people's kids because they're not sexually educating them on how, how to, uh, you know, what is it called? Fluidity. What is it? You guys know what I'm talking about. Sexual fluidity. <laughs> There's so many terms. I don't know them all. But anyways, the Lord wants me to look up right now. Implacable. So if y'all don't know these words, guys, search your heart so you could understand what these words mean so you can know what you're doing. If you're doing anything wrong. Relentless. Unable to be placated, merciless, merciless, unappeasable. Well, what's placated? See? You gotta keep going. Implacable. Well, what's placated? So, anger. Right, guys? So cursed be our anger. Cursed be our anger, Lord Jesus. Let us anger and sin not. Let us have righteous anger and not anger that doesn't bring forth fruit. Righteous anger can bring forth fruit. In Jesus' name. We can't have malignity, intense ill will or hatred against others. Because if we hate our brother, then we just murdered them. So it's very important. What else we got in here, guys? A little bit of covetousness. By the way, conviction is not condemnation. Can't be greedy. We can't have a strong desire for material possessions. We can't. We can't want other people's possessions, other people's gifts. Because it's saying, Lord, I, I don't agree with uh, you making me this way. You can't tell the father, what did you bring forth? Or, you know, your mother, what did you just beget? Or did I get that wrong? <laughs> I got it backwards. <laughs> Begat is, is from the father. Anyways, you guys get it. 
Don't strive with the potter and stop desiring others' gifts because it makes you, makes it seem like to him that you're not valuing the gifts that you do have. So even those can be taken away. So that's not only the people that are homosexuals. This is anybody that has these problems separately. You know what I mean? You don't have to be gay for this to apply to you. But if you are, all you gotta do is ask the Lord to stop having sex, first of all, and ask the Lord to change you into what you, he wants from you. There is still hope if you are a homosexual, but you need to stop having sex and you need to ask the Lord to help you with those thoughts because they're not from God. So who knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, so they don't only, don't only do the same, but they have pleasure in them that do them. So that's how I got there, Romans 1. So eternal, everlasting, enduring, forward and backwards, sometimes just forward. We have to pray unceasingly. Always, earnestly. This is where I was led when I looked it up the first time. With sincere and intense conviction. Seriously. Seriously, guys. Gravely. I'm telling you. These things need to go. And if it's caused conviction in you, good. That's healthy. Don't let it cause condemnation. Change the things that need to be changed and let them go because if you don't, then he'll let you have them. And it's going to be the most painful experience you'll, you've ever can imagine getting stung by a locust. Please make the right choice and just let go of the stupid things you're doing because it's only going to cause you more problems later. So sorry if I'm kind of rushing through these things, but 850 um, is another number that was uh, given to me supernaturally. And so it means restful. This is the root it leads to, a gadite, but to rest, to be quiet, to just calm down. Everybody just calm down, all right? Just calm down. <laughs> I almost sounded like Begley for a second. <laughs> Get some coffee. I don't watch him. <laughs> Just by the way, I don't watch him. <laughs> but I, I have in the past. <laughs> the Lord steered me away from it. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. I don't know why I mentioned that. Pray for him. He needs our prayers. Lord Jesus, help Paul Begley. Get on the right track in Jesus' name. This is what 850 also means. Um, dingy, dusky, obscure, dark, funereal, for real. Funereal. Having the mournful, somber character appropriate to a funeral. Everything's getting funereal. Anyways, get it? It's going to be miserable. Miserable. The day it will be dark and gloomy. Leads us to air, the lower air we breathe. And the Lord said, "This is, he said this just now, this is what's going to happen to the people. And it's what's happening to the people too. But it's about to, his hand's about to be taken away. And... So to blow or refresh with cool air, but also to breathe cool by blowing to grow cold. You know, the love of many will grow cold. Spiritual energy blighted or chilled by a malign or, or poisonous wind. Remember, we just went over malign, malignity. Okay, evil in nature or effect. It says... 
And because iniquity shall abound, because iniquity, because sin shall abound, shall grow, the love of many shall wax cold, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all the nations, and then shall the end come. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. I'll be back. I'm fired up. I'm pumped up because I'm mad at the enemy. <laughs> so I speak peace over everybody listening to this in Jesus' name. Lord Jesus, please bless them with your peace. Please bless them with your serenity and your calmness and your rest. Bless us with the rest that you have prepared for us, Lord Jesus. We give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. And the Spirit and the Bride say, Come, Lord Jesus, come quickly in Jesus' holy name. I love you guys. Thank you for your support. I couldn't do it without you. I'm terrified, but I trust in the Lord. Thank you guys for your prayers. Thank you guys for your love. Without the body of Christ, I'd, I wouldn't be able to do this. Everything supplements each other. And thank you, Jesus, for making it that way. Give us the victory, Lord, and come quickly. In Jesus' holy name. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. God bless.